Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at infinite geometric series. In lesson five, uh, we looked at finite geometric series. So they give us an example. Consider the infinite geometric series, one half plus one fourth plus one eighth. Does this have a finite sum? The answer is yes, it does. And it says, put yourself up against one wall in a room and then walk half the distance to the opposite wall. Now walk half of the remaining distance, a fourth, and then again, and so forth and so on. And continue this forever, and clearly the total distance we walk is approaching the width of the room and is the infinite series sum presented above. So to answer the answer to the infinite series above is 1, as shown by our infinite geometric series formula. So we have a new formula here for our geometric uh, infinite geometric series as opposed to the finite geometric series formula we used in the previous lesson. And it says if the absolute value of R is greater than 1, then the infinite series is said to diverge and the sum never settles down to consistent answer as n increases. Typically the sum diverges to infinity. When the absolute value of R is less than 1, the sum is said to converge and we can actually uh, get an answer there. So let's look at some examples of applying this. Okay, instructions say in examples one through four, decide if the infinite series converges or diverges. If it converges, give the sum. So remember, it's all about the R value as to whether or not it converges or diverges. So example one says a sub n equals, uh, and that gives the rule, seven times one third to the n minus one power, find s sub infinity, so find the infinite series there. We look for the r value, the r value is the part raised to the exponent, so that would be one third, so our r value is one third, and it is, its absolute value is less than one, therefore this uh, will converge, so we can actually get a sum. So we plug it in to the formula, s sub infinity, uh, sub infinity is equal to a sub 1. Well, a sub 1, if you know your geometric sequence pattern, that would be that number right there, 7 divided by 1 minus 1 third, because 1 third is our r value. That's this value right here. So put that in our calculator, alpha y equals enter to get the fraction button, 7 uh, over the quantity 1 minus, and I'll use the fraction button again. Could use parentheses, but I'm going to go ahead and use that fraction button. And that would be 21 over 2, and if we want a decimal, we can do that. Just math, option 2 there, 10.5. So 10.5 is the answer to example one. Okay, now for example two, we're trying to decide, does this converge or diverge? So it's all about the R value. Well, the R value is always the part raised to the exponent, so the R value is 5 thirds. So this geometric pattern has a, an R value of 5 thirds. 5 thirds is greater than one. So this one diverges and that is our answer. We stop there. We say that this geometric series would diverge, and we are done. We move on to the next one. Okay, example three. We have our uh, sigma notation, our um, summation notation here, and then they give us our rule. Well, it's all about the R value for a infinite geometric series. So the r value is the part raised to the exponent, so our r value equals the square root of 3. Well, that is somewhere between 1 and 2. It's a decimal value. We could find it here if we want. But all that is important is that it is greater than 1. Therefore, this infinite geometric series diverges, and that is our answer there. We stop, and we don't go any farther. Okay, now for example 4. So we start with this r value always. The r value is the part raised to the exponent, and our r value is 1 over root 3. Well, 1 over root 3 is, we can figure that out here. It's going to be less than 1. So it is less than 1, so this converges, and we can actually find a value for this geometric, uh, this finite, pardon me, infinite geometric series. So we're going to need to plug it in the formula. So we need a sub 1, 
and that would just be equal to we work this out and we put in a 1 right here so that would be equal to the 4 gets multiplied by that 1 there and then we're raising it to the first so it's just 4 over root 3 is our a sub 1 value we need the r value we already found that 1 over root 3 so now plug those things into the formula here so our infinite geometric series would be equal to 4 over root 3 all divided by 1 minus the r value which is 1 over root 3 so let's put that in our calculator we'll have a lot of fractions going on here I'm going to use that fraction button each time so the numerator has a fraction of 4 divided by root 3 and the denominator I'll go back and fix that in a moment is 1 minus alpha y equals enter to get the fraction button there 1 over root 3 and let's go up here and I need to fix uh, this value right there it needs to be 3 enter and it is 5.464 and that is our answer for example four. Okay, now for example five, it says write the sum in example one using summation notation. So I've copied down our rule for example one so that we could see it. So put our sigma symbol. Uh, we're using n here, so n equals one to infinity, and our rule is seven times one third to the n minus one power and that would be the answer for example five we're just using the sigma notation there and that's it for example five and that's it for this video